Hey everybody, my name is McAllen and welcome to my channel. I've been wanting to work at Ulta for about two years. I applied, I want to literally say like every single month for two years to try and get to this place, especially do the, during the Christmas season when they would like pretty much hire so many people to come in during the holidays. I would apply like crazy. So finally, after two years of trying to get into this place, I finally get a call back asking me to come in for an interview. Of course I accept, and um, we're gonna call people by like different names, <laughs> so there's no like controversy or anything, but the store, like she's a general manager, let's call her L. she's the one that interviewed me, she seemed very nice, uh, very funny, and I was really, really excited. I was like a little bit overexcited. I was telling her like, oh my gosh, I've been waiting two years to get into this place. I'm so excited. Like I love makeup so much. And she was just kind of like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, kind of just like, mm, you need to tone it down a little bit. But um, so I was very excited to start. I officially got hired on June 24th of last year. And I quit. Um in January of this year so I worked there for seven months I didn't think it was that long but apparently it was um, but anyways so my first day of walking in I felt let me just like describe the atmosphere to you guys so I came in during like the morning right after they opened so there wasn't very many people there and I just felt like very out of place because I looked at a lot of like my new coworkers and they like, I don't want to say that they didn't seem friendly because I didn't know them. So that wasn't like, you know, I wasn't going to sit there and talk, like say that they didn't seem friendly if I'd never even talked to them before. But there was just like, I don't know, like the atmosphere itself, as soon as I told the one worker, um, cause she asked me if I needed help and I just told her that I was there to start my first day of training. Um, she's, she was like, oh yeah, like that's great. I'll take you to the back. And then kind of just like, as soon as I said that, like when you walk in, the cash registers are right next door to the door. And as soon as I said that, all I seen at the corner of my eye was like that from everybody working at the register. And I was like, I like felt like really like small <laughs> but I mean that's not necessarily a bad thing because they were just like curious like oh my gosh there's a new employee I don't know I get like extremely shy and quiet and I don't really like talk to people but if I like you know start to warm up to you I'll be loud obnoxious and I'll crack jokes and like you know everything like that and in my seven months of working at Alta I did not make any friends and I never like broke out of my shell I was always introverted when I came into work at Alta. I never like cracked jokes or was like, you know, funny or talked or anything like that. I was very, very quiet, which was very like unusual for me. Usually when I work at new places, I can like make friends very easily and talk to people. But there, I like, I never felt welcomed. I never felt like any of my peers really liked me and I never felt like I belonged there. Most of, I'm not even going to say most, um, all but like a few of my coworkers were very, they came from a very privileged background, we'll say that. So they came from very like rich families. Um, they had a lot of money. They had newer-ish cars, and you know they had their own houses or nice apartments. And they would brag about always going on like trips every weekend by themselves or with their boyfriends, and would brag about buying like the new purses or you know the new Michael Kors or Coach or like anything like that. They weren't so much like Gucci and Versace and like all of that, but like they were very high maintenance and I just really did not ever feel accepting by them. And I didn't approach my managers about this because I didn't feel accepted by my managers either. Um, I don't know like why I really like I know why I felt that way but I don't know why they like really made me feel that way it wasn't like I was like weird or awkward or anything like I would try to talk to people and they would kind of just do like that <laughs> 
like kind of like that or like you know those fake like like you know those little like fake smiles um so I never felt welcomed by anybody at all so the first thing that I noticed that I really started to like sit back and was like ooh like something that was really shocking to me that I didn't expect was I don't okay I'm gonna <laughs> I I don't want to label it as racism but it was racism um there were because we have like these little walkies that would go into your ear so you could hear like everybody had to wear them so you could hear all the co-workers you could hear all your managers and everything at all times so there was any time a person of color rather that be like Mexican black or even religions Muslim you know things like that um, the manager would instantly go over the headset and say, hey, we need somebody to follow these people. And it was like, my main like duty was to be the cashier. So it wasn't like that awesome, amazing job that I thought it would be. Like I, of course, like helped customers pick products and stuff, but my main duty was cashing people out. So there was an incident where a black man was being accused of shoplifting some of our polo perfumes or cologne and she would sit there and like whenever she talked about people of color she would always say oh that african-american man or an african-american person and like she seemed just very like fake about it i guess like that's just kind of like how i got the vibe of and so she, as protocol, you have to, like, the managers have to call other stores to warn them about somebody potentially stealing. So she called another store and kind of, like, went like this, like, to, like, cover her hand so she wasn't, like, talking very loud. But I was standing, like, directly next to her. Like, her shoulder was almost touching me because the cash register that I was at the phone was right there. And she just goes, this black man just came in here with his black girlfriend and their black kids and was trying to steal our polo cologne. Yeah, we're at the blank blank. Every single time before somebody left the store, we had to wait for a manager to come up to the front. And we had to take our jackets off, take our hoodies off, take our purses off, our bags off, everything. And a manager would check and go through our purses and go through our bags and go through our jackets and everything. And we could not have like regular purses. Like mine is this purse right here. So we could not have regular purses. It had to be a clear plastic purse or bag and that was it. So I never carried my purse in there because obviously I wasn't gonna go out and buy a clear bag to just keep my phone and keys in there. So I never brought my purse with me. But they still, like, searched you. Like, they checked all of your pockets. They had you spin around in a circle and, like, put your arms up and down and everything like that. So, like, you weren't stealing any of their products. So, to me, that was, like, I understand it a little bit from their standpoint. Like, they don't want employees stealing. But, like, it's, like, a big invasion of privacy. And, you know, if you want your employees to trust you... You have to trust them. So let's get into when I quit, what happened, and why. So you had three absences before it was an automatic termination, plus I think it was like three, um, like being late twice considered one absent. So on Thanksgiving, we started our Black Friday sale right after Thanksgiving. So we were closed the morning of Thanksgiving. We opened five until like the end of the day the next day so all night long we were open so I was scheduled 5 30 to 2 30 in the morning which was perfectly fine but as soon as I got there like I had just gotten back from family dinner ate all of this stuff so as soon as I got in there I was like I don't feel good like at all and you know the manager's like oh you're fine you're probably just full from dinner all of this stuff so I 
went up to the cash register, started ringing people out, and it was, like, a swarm. Like, have you ever seen the, like, Walmart on Black Friday, and they open the doors and just, like, a swarm of people come in? That's exactly what it was like. So, just swarm of people came in. It probably lasted about 12 minutes of just people rushing into the store. So, one after the other, just people. And I started, like, feeling very, very nauseous. And, like, I know when I'm about to throw up. So, I was, like oh my god, I'm about to puke. So I literally left this lady like in the middle of scanning her stuff and ran to the back of the store and puked all over, like in the toilet, all over the floor, everything. So I like got over the headset and I was like, I'm in the bathroom throwing up. Nobody responded back. By the time I was done, a couple minutes later, I came to the front and I just started ringing again, and I'm like, okay, you know, it's okay. Started taking little sips of water, and then about 10 minutes later, boom, had to go to the bathroom again, started getting sick again. So I'm sitting there. That happened six times of me ringing up customers, going to the back, getting sick, coming back up. Six times that happened within, like, an hour of just being there. And... It was horrible, and my manager, Elle, was getting so irritated. Like, she was, like, sitting there, and she's like, well, you need to tell Jay when you're going to be sick. Now, Jay was, like, the primary cashier. You need to tell Jay when you're going to be sick so that he can have somebody come over here and take over while you're in the bathroom. And I was like, I'm sorry. Like, I can't help that I'm getting sick. Like, I mean, I can tell you as I'm running to the bathroom, but I can't just be like, hey, I'm going to get sick in like three minutes and 48 seconds. Like, you know, so she was kind of getting a little bit irritated. So I went to one of the other managers. We're going to call her A. I went over to A. She's just like a regular store manager. And I was like, is it okay if I leave and I'm going to go straight to an urgent care and I'll get a doctor's note and everything? And she's like, mm, probably not. And I looked at her and I was like, I've gotten sick six times. Before all this happened when I would work register, it was great helping people and like telling people like, oh, I love this product. I use this product all the time. I know you'll love it. Like that was very, very fun and fulfilling to me. And that's like what I expected out of the job. But there was like more cons than there was pros. So I you know, obviously was getting upset that I wasn't getting any hours or anything. And then finally, there was one night where I left my shift because my mom had called me and said that my grandma, um, who, which if you guys haven't seen my why I haven't been posting video, it's the same grandma that passed away last month. So this was back in December. My grandma um, was having kidney failure and was taken to the emergency room. So I told Elle, I was like, I have to go. Like, the, like my grandma can literally die today. I have to go. So I left. And a couple of weeks later, so this was like the end of December that this happened. And like the first week of January, I get a call from Elle. And she's like, I just wanted to call you and let you know that you have been terminated because you've missed three days. And I was like, the first two days I had a doctor's note and you said that those were considered excused. Then the third day, my grandma was literally dying of kidney failure. And she's like, well, we technically don't have to abide by doctor's notes, so they weren't excused. So I pretty much got fired from Alta um, because I missed three days of work and two of them I had a doctor's note and the other one my grandma was dying <laughs> so yeah I guess that's pretty much like the whole story of how you, they were very fake did not welcome me at all was very prejudiced and also just like did not care about me at all especially towards the end